you ever started to organize your files and you realized, shoot, I've got 15 copies of the same picture? Or you're moving things around and you just get lost. Well, let me tell you, Bridge can handle all of it. Number one, Bridge has a search option. It's right up here. I can tell it to search for all sorts of things. I can even tell it to search the entire computer here. Now, when I'm searching, it's going to go through all of its indexes and try and find whatever it is I'm looking for. Like, I can tell it to look for flower. And hit enter, and bam, all my flowers come up. All right? I can tell it to search for Kansas. And look, all these pictures from Kansas show up. Now, what if I'm searching for these and I search for one and I search for another and I really want to get them all in one place, but I don't want to double the data. I don't want to duplicate the files. I just want to organize them better. That's where collections come in. Now, if you go over here on the left, collections are a way to take pictures and organize them into folders, but the truth is they're only links to the files. But the way it works is it allows you to have a seemingly organized situation from a whole bunch of disorganized pictures. So in my case, I'm going to click on one of these and I'm going to say new collection. It's this little folder with a plus. And it's going to ask me, do you want to include the file? Well, yeah. So now this new collection, I'm going to say pics for grandma. All right. And the pics here on the left for grandma are going to be links okay they're actually not there okay so if I were to go back and remove this file from my original folder back in uh, it's in uh, number two here okay and if I were to remove this file it would say it's missing here okay so remember that you're you're going to delete a file or whatever, you need to make sure that it's not in any collections or you'll have to go find the file again. Now, I went back to my folder here and what I want to do is just drag some more pics that I think are great. And I'm going to drag this one in and I'm going to drag this one in and maybe this one. And I also want ones from other folders. So I'm going to go back down. I'm going to, well, you know what? I'm just going to do a search. I'm going to search for those flowers again. All right. Grandmas love flowers. All right. Grandmas love grandchildren. All right. So we're going to give some flowers. And then we go back in here. And you look at this. And this collection basically has a whole bunch of pictures that uh, aren't anywhere close to being in the same place. But now they appear to be. This is how I organize all my students' works. I use collections for each of them. Now, I can also create a new smart collection and I'm gonna go back out to my pictures and a smart collection is here on the right next to the new collection icon and you can tell it to look in your my pictures or on your whole computer and I can tell it to find a file name right uh, so for example when my students create book covers I say search for the word book cover or book and then any file that's got the word book in it will show up I can also go to all sorts of other things. I can say date created. I can uh, look for a keyword, right? I can look for a label, a title, a description, all sorts of stuff, all right? I can tell it to do ones that are certain sizes, and it'll find pictures that are certain sizes. And let's, let's do that one for a second. You can say, does not equal to. This is a good way for me to look through my students' works and say, hey, you know what? You didn't really follow the directions properly. You didn't make your file the right size before we got started. So I can say, if the height isn't, I don't know, a thousand, then you didn't make a properly formatted image for your project. So there's all sorts of criteria that you can find. I'm going to go back to search for um, keywords and I'm going to tell it to look for flower. And it says if any of the criteria are met, and to choose all subfolders and non-index files, which can take a while if you haven't done it yet. I'm going to click Save, and bam, all my flowers show up. And if I ever add a new flower to one of my folders, 
and I go back into this new smart collection, it's going to put them in this thing. So all my flowers instantly come up in the proper way. This is a great way to organize your files and we want to make sure that you're using collections to make sure you don't have data duplication.